again and welcome to the show that, man, makes Viagra look like a, a test tube, baby. This is the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Galetta, a.k.a. Hans Mike, along with my partner, Brian, the Ranger Retard. Brian, that opening was terrible. I don't even know what I'm saying there. I, I, I'm, yeah, you may need some medication. I, mean, I, 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 I think I do. I think I need to talk to the doctor again. But yeah. anyway, let's talk a little NBA today, because I know you're big on the NBA. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about the NBA being okay with the Sixers in going through the process of how they did it, being bad for a couple years, mm-hmm. three or four years, getting that draft pick in the top three, and just moving on from there. So, I mean, what do you think? Is the NBA right by doing this? Well, I mean, I don't. I think if you actually like take Adam Silver aside and say, you know, do 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 you want to see the Sixers succeed doing this? Mm-hmm. I would say he does not. No, I don't think that the league wants to reward teams or wishes they are rewarded when. They kind of game the system. Again, I am a big proponent of what the Sixers did. I think if you're not going to win, lose. And the Sixers did a real nice job. Really the only way of getting premier NBA talent is to draft it. Unless you can go out there and sign a bunch of guys, and that's very, very hard to do. Correct. But for me, I don't think the NBA wants to see this work. I think the NBA wants to see the Sixers fail. I think the NBA then wants to say, oh, look, we told you you shouldn't be doing this. Mm-hmm. So there's already talk of them maybe changing the way they do the draft because they don't want this to be the norm or the template for other teams to be mm-hmm. horrible for a couple of years, try to get these big gut name guys and go from there. See, I hate the lottery system. I, ha- I hate that, that that whole thing that goes on with the lottery and everything. But in the same sense, listen, this is the way the NBA is. Is the process right? Probably not. But in the same sense, I think the Sixers did it right in the way of this is what you have to do to become a good team in the NBA from now on. Because in the way of the money situation, you can go out and go buy a free agent team like Miami did, like the Cleveland Cavaliers are doing with LeBron to win a championship. And this is the way you got to do it. If you don't have that kind of access to bring people into the team, I think this is the way to do it, to be a bad team for a couple of years and then do it that way. Um, You know, is it the right way? Probably not because a lot of teams in different leagues can't do it that way. But I think in the NBA, it works to be a bad team and keep getting that pick over and over. And we talked about it in hockey. Hockey, you can do that and, and be bad. Look at Edmonton. They did it five, six straight years. They got that number one pick, and, and look, now they're, they're, they're a good team again. But in the same sense, the NBA wants it to be goody-goody, and they want everything to go perfect. you got to understand, the league is set up for teams to do this. And did the Sixers do it right? I think they did. I think they did it right. I think there's bigger problems than this. I mean, I think, oh, you, have, that I, I think you have the super team era where, you know, players have to go play with each other, yep. which then leads to guys like Conley getting $150 million oh, contract. Yeah. Mazdoff I mean, going to LA when he's two minutes in the playoffs and he got $64 million. There's a lot of issues with the way the NBA is doing things. Yep. I don't necessarily claim to have a solution. Yep. But what I'm saying is I would much rather see a team go through hard times and get rewarded for it then just go out and, 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 and these you know guys just go. go I'm a little forward. surprised because you're a big you're a big go to the bottom guy and, and get. Well, no, no, I no, but here's the, but here's the, no, exactly what I'm saying mm-hmm. is the Sixers did it the right way. I think they did. And too. you can say, well, they didn't really try to win, really, because I think they're trying to really win, not right. like middle of the road win. But in the NBA, if you get to a certain point, you try to win, you're only going to be mid pack or make the playoffs or whatever. You may be at that point for years, for purgatory for years. And the way they did it and the way they lose and the way they, they, they tank and they get that pick. Look, the Celtics tried to do it and they got screwed. Yep. But in the same sense, you know, you, like I said, the Sixers, was I in a favor of it? No, I thought the Sixers, and I always like a team to move forward. I don't like, the we, and we differ on that. I don't like to go to the bottom like you always talk about the Flyers in, in hockey. Um, you know, they should just lose out and get that top three pick for the next three or four years. I'm not in favor of that because as a fan of a team, you want to keep seeing progress and then moving forward. But in the NBA's case with the Sixers, I think you had to do it like this because that's the only way you move forward. That's right. Because the NBA draft, after the first four or five picks, is slop. And I, and I think after that. And I think Sixers fans right now are wishing they had Sam Hinkie back. Yeah. You know, follow you know Jal- what? Follow yeah. the Jalil Okafor trade. We didn't really get anything for a guy that took third overall. No, for, you, you got Booker, who's a guy, big deal. He's a contract. But that's the interesting part about these picks is you have to actually make them and make them well. You can't, just because you're going to get them does not guarantee you, you that these guys money. are going to pan out. Yeah, you got to swap money and different things. That look at how many guys top of the NBA draft have been terrible. I the agree. NFL draft have been terrible. Yep. Top of the NBA draft have been terrible. I agree. So it's, it, it's not a cure-all. But to me, that's more we are committed to long-term success by going this route. And, I, and again, I agree. Sixers, may win, Sixers might be the, the next team in Philly maybe to win a championship, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Mm-hmm. However, 
I don't think the NBA wants them to. I think, no. I think if the NBA had a choice, yep. they want the Sixers to fail miserably, so no other teams are incentivized to do what they did. And there's a lot of bad teams in the league that probably could have did this, like Sacramento for a while and, yeah. and you know other teams, but they chose not to do that because the league said it's not right to do that, but the Sixers said, screw it, we're going to do the process, and we're going to be bad for a couple of years, we're going to get this these picks on track. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I I, I think they, like you said, I think they they did a good job doing that. Now they're going to be set up for a little bit of time. Hopefully, Embiid can stay healthy. I know he's yep. not clear to do back-to-back -back games yet, but we, we will see. I, I think it's a good move. But in any sense, keep an eye on it. Listen, tell us what you think about it. Do, are you on board with it? Do you like the process? Do you think they could have did it a different way? Do you think the Sixers could have got better doing this, doing that? Whatever. We're both on board saying the Sixers did it right by doing the process, so let us know. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, you can always get us on social media if you need to. Absolutely. You found us here on YouTube today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Twitter and Facebook yep. at Sportsbox Show. Look us up on Facebook for Outside the Box, our private sports discussion yep. group. Let's see you join there as well. We're everywhere. Make sure you find us. Yep, absolutely. And remember, you always got good content here. So if you hear something you want to hear about, you want, to, you want us to talk about something, Right in. We'd love to hear from you. We'll respond back from you. Me and Brian are pretty quick at that. So, And remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here. Thanks for watching, folks. See you. This episode of the Sports Box is brought to you by Mike'd Up Entertainment and DJ Mike Villardi. For all of your event planning needs, make sure you contact Mike at 609-864-5925 and tell him that you saw him on the Sports Box. One, two, three. Yeah! Don't forget to subscribe.